Welcome to Augur's Developer Setup Part 1. I'm Sean Goggins, one of the maintainers. We're going to go through the quick start guide on Augur's documentation, which is linked from our website at augurlabs.io. We're going to go all the way through the installation of Go and cover the remainder of the setup in a second thing. The first thing we do is a sudo apt update on Ubuntu. This is an Ubuntu example. And so it runs all the way through just like this and it takes a little while and then you do an update but then you also do an upgrade this doesn't seem to make a lot of sense update is updating the operating systems awareness of distribution centers for packages that need to be installed and then upgrade is actually where the upgrade occurs but you won't upgrade everything unless you do an update first. And moving on to the second part of what we're doing, we're going to move into the Postgres installation. Some of you may have Postgres already installed, and so this won't be a big deal for you. So you can see the first thing that we're doing, assuming you have Postgres installed, is we're going to sudo to the Postgres user. The reason we do that is because it's the only default user, and it doesn't come with a password that it tells you about. And there are three auger commands, the create database, create user, and grant all privileges uh, for that user on the database that you're going to install auger on. It's pretty exciting. There we go, we're granting the privileges. And then we quit Postgres, we're done with that part. And we exit. And we exit both the Postgres user and the root user. And we check to see if we've got Git. Often you're going to have Git always installed. Sometimes you won't. If you don't, you'll need to install Git and there's some instructions. And then there are these parameters that we provide that help you deal with very large repos. You'll also notice occasionally you mistype your password. And you'll do an update again. And the reason you do an update again is in case the installation or reconfiguration of Git causes something else to need to be updated. And finally, we're going to install Go. The default easiest method is using snapd. You saw that how that works. And if you have any other questions about Augur, you can look at OSS Augur, read the docs.io, Augur Labs, which has a link to some live sites as well as a bunch of additional information. Our GitHub repository, also linked at augurlabs.io, has it's linked right there. In the next episode of installing Augur, we'll move on to the configuration of the Python environment as well as the loading of repositories. Thank you.